Hello everyone, Maker Dan here with another video. I built this solder fume extractor uh, using my 3D printer, so I designed everything in Fusion 360. Uh, before I began, I did some searches on uh, on YouTube to find out um, what else was out there and found some pretty good ones, so I put a lot of that together into my version of it. So I'll just explain to you how it works. Uh, it's got a large shroud in the front to capture the fumes, um, to help capture them anyways. Um, and it's got a bunch of layers on here. So um, I've got an LED light strip that goes around here to capture, um, um, to just project, project more light down on your board that you're working on. And then inside here, I've got uh, two discs. I've got the front disc and behind this grill, um, I've got the carbon filter. So the carbon filters that I ordered are off Amazon. Uh, they look like that. They're almost uh, a millimeter thick. And then I used a template to cut a circle. And then there are my circles. So I've got one in the front here that I could just put behind that grill. And that's just a custom grill for the one that I have on Thingiverse. It's just a, a round circle, basically, that covers that up. And then on the back, I've got the exact same setup. Um, so I've got the carbon filter right here and then a grill in the back. So the layers that are shown here is the front shroud. And this shroud I decorated with my uh, Cricut. I just made some decals for it, make it look a little bit more interesting. And then I've got the grill holder, um, sorry, the um, carbon filter holder on the front, uh, carbon filter holder on the back, uh, sandwiched in, 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 in between that is my actual fan, okay? And um, there's actually one more layer that's a silver layer that goes around here, and that holds um, this support, which is from an old lamp, and I just took the lamp off and I 3D printed a mount inside of here um, so it can still swivel. So if you want to make one of these and you don't have uh, an arm, then you can just leave this whole section out and leave these strips out here um, and just sandwich everything a little bit closer together and just put the power switch somewhere else. So I've got a, a light switch and a fan switch and my fan is a 120 millimeter fan. So it's 120 millimeters wide and tall. And um, I'll post that on uh, the links below, as well as all of the Th Thingiverse files. Uh, there's, there'll be a link to Thingiverse, and you can actually print all this out if you would like to make your own. So I'll just show you how it works. Uh, I'll just turn on um, the lights and the fan. And you can mount this, and you can just um, tilt it to wherever you want. I've got some solder here. So I will just uh, use my soldering iron and... You can see how it all gets just sucked right into the fan. Yeah, so it seems to be working pretty good. Just finished it. I'm going to be using it to build some circuit boards next. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. So if you would like to make one, uh, check out the links uh, and go to Thingiverse uh, to download the files from there. And again, thanks for watching.